the two most important ingredients the two most important ingredients to an individual having complete iman is first love for rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam the first key ingredient top of the list is that we have love for rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam the nabi alayhi salatu wassalam is more beloved to us than anybody in this world la yu'minu ahadukum hatta akuna ahabba ilayhi min walidihi wa waladihi wan nasi ajma'in aw kama qala alayhi salatu wassalam nabi alayhi salatu wassalam said that none of you will be a true believer not a single one of you will have true and complete iman until I become more beloved to you than your parents, than your children, than all of the people in the world. That you put everybody of the dunya to one side and you have the ishq and muhabbat of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on the other side. That the dunya and everything within it, the world and everything within it means nothing to us. The only thing which is of importance is the love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is why Kalandir Lahori, Professor Alama Iqbal rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi said, the tayare ishq mein apna maqam paida ka. Dayare ishq mein apna maqam paida ka. That you know in the rank and the station, and the status of love and honor, make your maqam, make your honor. That those who gave their life for the sake of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they did so because they loved him more than they loved anything. Those sahaba who gave their necks and sacrificed their lives, those who sacrificed their wealth, sacrificed their children, sacrificed everything that they had they did so because they looked the messenger of allah more than anything in the world and let me just give you one example to highlight the importance of the love of rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sayyidina abu bakr as-siddiq radiyallahu ta'ala anhu close intimate friend of rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the first male to accept Islam. Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, whose deeds are unmeasurable. So much so that Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam said, that if you were to put the deeds of the whole of humanity on one side, and you were to put the deeds of Abu Bakr as-Siddiq on the other side, then the deeds of Siddiq al-Akbar will be heavier than the deeds of the whole of humanity. <laughs> this very same Siddiq al-Akbar, Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, at the battle of Badr, he did not leave and abandon the side of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 313 Sahaba, Ridwanullah ta'ala alayhim ajma'een, fought in the battle of Badr, out of which was Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq was won. Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq's duty was to stand and guard Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he did so. Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq was a man who was courageous, known for his bravery, was willing to give his life for the sake of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. During this battle, Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiyallahu ta'ala and whose son Abdul Rahman was a non-Muslim and he fought on the side of the Mushriks of the Quraysh and the army of the polytheist non-believers of the Makkans totaled 1,000 out of which Abu Bakr as-Siddiq's son was a part of. After the battle, when Abdul Rahman accepted Islam, 
He spoke to his father. He spoke to Abu Bakr al-Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala. And he said to his father, that, oh father, I saw you on the plains of Badr. I saw you and I had the opportunity to take my sword and strike it in order to kill you. But I didn't do so because you are my father and I am your son. When Sayyidina Abu Bakr al-Siddiq heard this admission from his son, he said to his son that, Ya Abdul Rahman, if you were to come in front of me just once on the plains of Badr, I would not have hesitated, I would have chopped your head off. Reason being is because I have given my allegiance to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa That I love Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That I propagate the mission of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That you as my son mean nothing to me. If you stand in the way of Islam, if you stand in the way of this deen, if you stand in the way of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you mean nothing to me because my deen and my rasul means everything to me. <laughs> this was the ishq and muhabbat of Abu Bakr as Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala. And when we have an understanding of what is love, then this leads us to the second key ingredient. Remember we said there's two key ingredients which makes the bunyad of iman, the foundation of iman. And the one who has these two ingredients is the one who has complete and kamil iman. The second ingredient, after we have ishq of muhabbat mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallama, the second most important ingredient is respect towards Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Is adab mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. To honor and respect and to show reverence towards Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And these two ingredients, today people find it difficult to act upon. Today people say they love Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, but unfortunately they don't have the characteristics of a Muslim. So their Iman isn't complete. They have Muhabbat, they have Ish, they have love, they have devotion, but they don't have A'mal. They don't have Akhlaq, they don't have character, conduct, manners, which coincide with the manners of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa which coincide with the characteristics of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa So their Iman isn't complete. 